Welcome to Yang's Kitchen. Today we will learn how to make Vietnamese steamed rice rolls, also known as bun cuong. Let's check out the ingredients. And the ingredients we need is tapioca starch, rice starch, and chicken powder. 2 cups of water, sugar, salt, a pound of ground pork, shallots, garlic, dried fried garlic and fried onions, fish sauce of course, any kind of fish sauce also need your spicy mint. Go ahead and clean it and chop it up into half an inch. Cucumber, cut them into long strips like so. And don't forget your bean sprouts. And of course you need your shiitake mushroom. Go ahead and slice it into small pieces. And you need half of an onion. Dice it up really well. Let's start making the batter. You need one cup of tapioca starch. 1 cup of rice starch, 2 cups of water, and 1 cup of hot water. You also need one fourth teaspoon of salt and two tablespoon of oil. Once you're done mixing, leave it to the side for 30 minutes. And don't forget your black fungus. Uh, you can find this at any Asian store. Go ahead and soak it under water for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Take it out and slice it up into small chunks like so and go ahead and dice it up finely let's start marinating the meat you need one teaspoon of pepper one tablespoon of chicken powder and one tablespoon of sugar go ahead pour right in and one tablespoon of fish sauce one tablespoon of garlic dice and one shallot dice. Don't forget your half of an onion dice, half a cup of black fungus dice, and half a cup of sh shiitake mushroom dice, also known as Chinese black mushroom. Go ahead and mix it up well and leave it to the side to marinate for 30 minutes. And once your 30 minutes is up, go ahead and add some oil in your pan and start cooking it up. And start stirring it around. Remember, you don't have to add any ingredients because it's already marinated. Just kind of stir it around, break it down. It does tend to clump up. Once it's done, go ahead and put it to the side. Don't forget your bean sprouts. Go ahead and put it in a hot pot. Once it's done after a minute, pick it out and leave it to the side. Let's start steaming the rice cake. Go ahead and add some oil and pour it out in a bowl. You just use a little bit and pour in your batter. You only use oil on the first round and the rest you just steam it like so. Add the batter. Close your lid. Once it's done after a minute open it up and it should look like this. It, it should cook pretty fast and just remove it like so and add some of your 
pork mix, fold it up, and put it right on your plate, like so. Remember you have to use your nonstick pan in order to do this, and don't forget to sprinkle your onions and garlic. And now it's time to make the fish sauce. Go ahead and add 3 fourths cup of sugar, 2 tablespoons of lemon, 1 to 2 tablespoons of diced garlic, 2 cups of water. This serves for 10 people. And try to dissolve the sugar before you add the fish sauce. Now add half cup of fish sauce. and one teaspoon of chili sauce. Mix it well and keep it to the side. Your Vietnamese ham, go ahead and slice it up like you see in the video. You can find this at any Vietnamese store or if you want to make this, go ahead and check out my Vietnamese ham video. And the best part is to assemble and go ahead and add your steam roll and don't be surprised if your batter does not turn out this much I actually use three batches of batter in order to get this much but not least don't forget your delicious homemade fish sauce this serves for a good 10 to 12 people if you want more information on how to make a smaller portion please go ahead and check out my next video on fish sauce and if you like a little bit more spice into your life go ahead and add a one teaspoon into your fish sauce and there you have it folks homemade delicious Vietnamese steamed rice roll straight from your kitchen. Thanks for watching everyone.